Hi, and welcome to Walk From Home, episode three. Can you believe it? Three already. So today we're gonna to be doing some Yasai Vegan Soba, which is gonna be absolutely outstanding. My beautiful wife, Claire, she's still filming. Say hello, Claire. Hi. So we're gonna be using some marvelous mushrooms, some perfect peppers, some opulent onions, some luscious leeks, some amazing asparagus, some really cool chili, and some superb spring onion. See what I did there? Don't forget the calalicious kale. Anyway, we've also got some firm tofu and some great fresh coriander, look at that. All this ingredients is fresh. This is what I had in my fridge, so this is what I wanted to use. Also, we're gonna show you how to make the MI sauce. Now, with this, the recipe's in our book, which we will stick on the video just to make sure you can have all the stuff you need. Very straightforward, very easy. And last but not least, one of the stars of our dish is gonna be some soba noodles, and these are vegan soba noodles. So, they're ready to go, no egg. Right, we better get cooking. So next, we have gotta make that beautiful sauce really oh, sweet, acidic, really sharp, brings those vegetables to life in the dish. So if you come in close, I'll go through the ingredients. So I've got six tablespoons of sugar in there. They go straight in the pot. Then we're gonna add our vinegars. So our rice wine vinegar, I've got two tablespoons of that and two tablespoons of malt vinegar, which again is vegan. So as you can see, the sugar has dissolved with those vinegars. So now we're gonna add in our tomato sauce, which is now one and a half times one and a half. We've got three tablespoons of tomato ketchup in there. So we're gonna add that in. So now I've got four tablespoons of tamarind. And there we go, look at that. Oh, the smell of this again. I thought the katsu was immense. This is superb, unbelievable. So you've got that citrusy smell coming off, that acidity of the vinegar. Really rich flavors coming through there now. What I'm gonna do, just stir that in. And it's starting to take shape. So now I'm gonna get a little bit of a whisk. So. Last but not least, we're gonna add in our soy sauces. So now we've got two tablespoons of light soy and two tablespoons of the dark soy. And that's all mixed in. So now what we do is we're just gonna cook that out. So I'm just gonna put that at the back of the hob on a lowish heat. I'm just gonna let that sit there. So, while that great sauce is just starting to come together and all those flavours are coming out, I'm going to cook our noodles. I'm going to blanch these off, so I'm cooking them and then I'm going to refresh them, which means I'm going to cool them down with loads of cold water. Not too much, but just enough to get them nice and cold. We've got about four and a half minutes, five minutes maybe, but just test them as you go along. So, noodles cooked. Let's get them over to the sink and get them refreshed. So, there you go, look at that, beautiful noodles. Then we're just gonna put some cold water on there. So we're get them nice and cold, ready for a stir fry. So that's our noodles, oh, look at them, beautiful. All refreshed, a little bit of oil sprayed on them so they don't clump together. And they're ready for our stir fry. So now we're gonna cut some vegetables up and start cooking. Yeah. So, got my prep done. I've even got my little furry vacuum going around just checking on the floor that nothing's been dropped. So we've got all our prep ready, we've got our noodles, we've got a great veg all there, all fresh, vibrant, ready to go. We've got our sauce, we've got a bit of sriracha, which I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with after. We've got our ginger and our garlic all 
chopped up, ready to go. So I'm gonna pick what I want in my stir fry. This is the great thing about this dish, is that you can cut it all and let the kids, let everyone come and help themselves with what they want in theirs to then cook it with the noodles, with the sauce. It's a fantastic idea and a great dish. So for me, I'm gonna go with some peppers. Just a few peppers in there. Red and the orange. Bit of red onion. A few mushrooms. Bit of kale, love kale. Just a little bit of asparagus, a couple of the spears. And it's a nice leek. So that's my veg that I'm gonna cook off first. And then add my noodles and my sauce. So nice hot pan, a little bit of olive oil in there. First goes in our ginger and our garlic. Just get that working. Time to release all its flavor. <laughs> And our beautiful vegetables, just to stir fry. Look at that! Wow, the colours, all that fresh veg, the vibrancy of it all. So that's going to cook down. And in the meantime, while my vegetables are cooking, I'm just going to brown off some of my tofu. And I've got a little bit of olive oil in there. I've got a little bit of chili oil in there just to give it a nice colour and a really good bit of flavour, plus heat it up to my dish. So my vegetables have started to just start to soften very, very slightly. We get our noodles in there. We want our noodles to take on all of that flavour. That ginger, that garlic. Just warm our noodles up. Just have a look at that. Look how lovely and thick that is, reduced down the flavouring, that is immense. So I'm going to use a little bit of that. And then I'm adding a little bit of sriracha to mine. just to mix that in and then I'll come up with a, just a little bit of a different sauce because I love that spice. I'm just going to mix that sauce all in. I've got to say that tastes amazing. So just mixing that sauce in now. As you can hear that sauce just starting to caramelise on the bottom of the wok. But only just, I'm not going to let it burn. So, there you have it, one happy dog <laughs> who's trying to help me in my vegan yakisoba. Absolutely stunning dish. The flavours, the textures, unbelievable. Make sure you leave some for me. Mm. And the neighbours. <laughs>